How's it going, Fish Tank families? As always, God bless you, and thank you for being here. I'm Gage, and this is Candy Coral Aquatics. If you're new to my channel, please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell. This is where I talk about all things reefing, but more importantly, where I share the information I've gathered on my tank with you guys to help you become better, hobby better hobbyists at this hobby we call reefing. Today, guys, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to better photograph and record pictures of your own home reef aquarium. So lots of times, guys, I have people ask me, wow, you know, you're Coral coloration looks great. What do you do? Blah, 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 blah. And I've seen this several times on other YouTubers uh, pages. And I think it's really funny when I see somebody that's got this, I mean, they have a gorgeous tank. Don't get me wrong. And their corals are gorgeous. But all in the comment section, that's all you see is what lights you're using. How do you get that color? Guys, I'm going to tell you straight up. It doesn't really have much to do with the lights. It all comes down to phone filters or camera filters. So that's going to be my first tip for you is, you know, all the blue light that our lights are putting out our cameras can't really filter that out very well. So you need to go out and you need to purchase some type of a filter to put over the lens of whatever camera it is that you're using to filter out that blue light so you can actually get the natural co the coral colors and fluorescence that you should actually be seeing. The next tip that I'm going to give you guys is top-down video and photographs. So if we actually look at the tank straight on, it looks pretty good, right? Well, if I pop this out of the holder here and we go over to the tank and we do some top-down shots... Oh my gosh, right? It kind of looks better, doesn't it? I think it looks better. So top-down photography and videotaping is a really easy way to get much brighter, more colorful looking photographs and videos out of your tank. It's not necessarily a trick because these are the real colors of the coral. It just looks better from a top-down perspective. Just a different view of the coral and the fish. And I don't know, I just kind of like it more. For whatever reason, it just makes things pop. But going back to the phone filter, I want to show you guys something here. So here's what everything looks like get in there here's what everything looks like with the phone filter if i could get this back in my stand ah forget it and there's what it looks like without the filter huge dramatic difference right now it actually doesn't look like this in person you know if i look at it with my eyes i can of course see all the colors of the coral but with a phone lens or a camera lens because it has such a hard time getting rid of all that blue light this is actually how it shows up on camera. It looks absolutely dreadful. So go out and get you guys, you know, some type of a phone filter. I have an iPhone. So I went and I got the ice cap for the iPhone. Really handy little clip-on filter. Came with multiple different lenses to do multiple different things. Um, and then, yeah, I just used this orange kind of filter lens to get rid of the blue light. Um, this is why you guys have probably seen advertised online glasses that you can buy that you can wear um, when you go to like, you know, frag tank shows or just wherever, you know, local fish stores and you're looking at the coral, you can pop those glasses on. It'll filter out that blue light from your eyesight and then you can actually see the corals for what their true fluorescence are. So until next time, guys, take care. God bless. And I expect you guys to use some of these tricks so I can start seeing some really cool photos of your tanks. Till next time, take care, guys.